All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive.
coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time, entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business.
means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. So much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the bus on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you, box your stuff. Out the front door, parking lot, car, goodbye. 